Okay. Now we are going to look at um, CIE past paper questions that are related to the topic of similarity. So here are some of the questions that uh, we have to uh, look at. To begin with, we have number one, as you can see here, the fact we have got arrows, we have arrow here and we have arrow there. This means this question is related by uh, parallel sides. And to be specific, you'd realize A to B is parallel to C to D. Why? Because we have the arrow mark and this automatically A to X will be parallel to X to D and B to X will be parallel to X C. A, complete the statement, triangle. A, B, X is similar parallel. to triangle B, C, X. So if you wrote parallel, Parallel is just lines which never meet, but here we are given triangles. So triangles are shapes, and we said shapes can either be similar or congruent, and congruent when they're exactly the same size. Are we together? But when you look at this side and this side, this is four, this is eight. So these are not congruent because this is small, this is big. So definitely now this will be similar triangles. They are not congruent triangle. Are we together now? Yes. Good. Now yep. we, we need to find the value of AX. So first of all, in order to get AX, we need to get the proportions of all the sides. If you check here, we have A to B over C to D. We have A to X over X to D, and we have B to X over X to C. Do you agree? Mm. Because yes. of parallel side. Then when you substitute the values, it is eight over four is equal to AX over 2.8 is equal to BX over two. two. Now, since we are told to find AX, we shall take this pair. So it will be eight Nine. times 2.8 divided by four, we get a x. Are we together? Mm. Uh, okay, so that would be 5.6. 5.6. Let's go to question number two of the past papers. There we go. Complete, calculate. Okay, here we go. Students, are we there? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, did did I miss anything on the on the question? Did I miss anything? Yeah, no. I missed the sign. I missed the sign. There is a sign here. Is that correct? Okay. Because yes. we don't have arrow, this is not a uh, parallel sides. But because we have got this mark angle, then this is angle positioning. Are we together? Yes. And this part and this part will also be related. So, so if this is capital A, this is small a. If this is capital B, this is small b. If this is capital C, this is small c. And hence we get our fractions as a over 1.3. Uh, a is PR, right? PR. Yes, sir. Yeah. Over 1.3. P R over 1.3 is equal to 
what is this one? Six over RRT. Yes. And uh, 3.6 over 1.2. Then yes. we go ahead and uh, find the value of RRT. Right? So RRT, it will be 6 times 1.2 is equal to 3.6 RRT. Is that correct? Amen. Yes. So we get 7.2 is equal to 3.6 RRT over 3.6 over 3.6 it is 2 rt is 2 correct then part b find pr here so we shall take this one and this one right so yes. 1.2 pr is equal to 1.3 times 1.3 times 3.6 is that correct Yes. Giving us 4.68. Divide by 1.2, divide by 1.2. 1.9. It will be 3.9. Are we together? Yeah. Let's go to question number three. Four. <laughs> Calculate angle W, V, X. W, V, X. They need to us to find this angle. Are we together? Yeah. Because of the arrow. That's not the question. Because of the arrow, it means these two are parallel. Is that correct? Yes. If they are parallel, we use alternate angles mm -hmm. so can we use that angle for the angles yeah so if I this saw, is 57 I... also this one is 57 7 right why not 50 yes. so 88 plus 57 plus uh -huh. x equals 180 so x plus 88 Plus 57, we get 180. Pardon? What will be our answer? 35. 35. Are we together? Yes. Good. Let's go to question number four. Four. Triangle D. E C and triangle B A C are similar. Calculate the value of Y. Very good. If these are similar, let's check. Are they similar by parallel sides or are they similar by angle positioning? Angle positioning. No. Oh, they are similar parallel. by parallel oh. sides because we have arrows. Oh. Good. So if we have arrows, meaning 8 over 4 and 8 over 4 and 4y plus 1 over y plus 1. Is that correct? Yes. Then we do cross multiplication. Master, master. What yes. Why don't you simplify the 4y plus 1? Why don't you simplify the 4y plus 1? Okay, thank you. We can simplify because it's a M like that, so we can say by 4, 1, by 4, 2. Are we together? Then we cross multiply. Sawa, so, Sawa? So? Anyone? Yes. 5 plus 1 plus 1. Why don't? You can simplify plus one plus one. No, 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 no. Never. Because this is combined question. This is one statement. Okay. So two Can y factorize. Factorize. 
Yeah, you take out Y plus one. No. There's no common numbers. You don't have common term. Half. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, so. Ah, one will come this side, two Y will Where go that half? side. Then we are left with two Y is equal to one. Then we, div we divide by two. Okay. 0 0.5, 1 over 2. Are we together? Yes. Yep. Are you sure? Zero we... five. Okay. Let's go to the okay. last question. Here. Are these two triangles similar? No. No. Oh. Are they similar? But Parallel. Yes, they are similar using parallel. parallel triangles, right? Now, if they are similar using parallel triangles, then we can write our statement, Kwanzaa. This side is related to this side, correct? This side is related to this side. And this one is related to this one. Agreed? Yes. 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 So we shall get 2y minus 1 over y plus 2. Y plus 1 over y. Over y. Then we, we cross multiply. Y times 2y minus 1. Y plus 2 times y plus 1. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Then we open the bracket. <laughs> we open the bracket. So we get 2y square minus y is equal to y square plus y plus 2y plus 2. Correct? Yes. Okay. Then we collect all like terms. 2y square minus y square. Remember, this is 3y. So minus 3y minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. I took all these ones yes. to this side. I took all of them to this side. Then we simplify. 2y square minus y square, we get y square. 3y square minus 3y minus y, we get minus 4y. And then this is minus, minus two. 2 is equal to 0. And that is how we have proven that statement. How did you get negative y square? Negative y square. I got it by adding y square. Negative y square. I got it by bringing this y this side. Mr. Yeah. In the answer, you put negative 4y. You... Yes. Because why? I added these two. Mm, 3 is negative, yes. Yes. It. Negative 3. <laughs> negative 3 minus 3. <laughs> minus That's 1. It. Negative 3 minus 1. Can you see that? You will no. get negative four. Negative three minus one, you get negative four. Clear? Wow. That's why negative three minus one is negative four. Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. Yes, yes correct. Good. Oh, yeah. Then we go to part B. Part B, everybody can do because it is just quadratic equation. Right? Yes, to Namalizia to Ondoke. So this is y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So y is equal to minus minus 4 plus or minus minus 4 square minus 4 bracket 1 minus 2 over 2 bracket 1. Okay? So y is equal to 4 plus or minus 2. 
What is the value inside? What is the value inside? What is the value inside? Nobody can give me. So it is 